a very good evening to you this is an english edition of dalsan tv somalia's premier tv station my name is abdulzak ali and we have a lot lined up for you on this day of 12th january 2023 but first let's have a look at some of our top stories major anti-al-shabaab protest held in the capital mogadishu ethiopia somalia inc aviation partnership deal tigre rebels hand over heavy weapons to the ethiopian army Welcome back. My name is Abdelzak Ali. A major anti-Al-Shabaab public rally has been held in the capital Mogadishu. The protest, which came in response to a call from the head of the state, Hassan Sheikh Mohamud, was attended by the president, government officials, and thousands of citizens. <laughs> A major anti-Al-Shabaab rally is now underway in the capital, Mogadishu. Thousands of people from all the districts of Mogadishu staged anti-Al-Shabaab protest in Mogadishu in support of lasting peace and tranquility across the war-ravaged nation on Thursday. Federal government of Somalia organized the rally against the Al-Shabaab months after the militant group carried out several complex attacks in the capital. The protest comes in response from, from a call by Somali President Dr. Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, who is also among thousands of people attending the rally. Speaking at Mogadishu's engineer Eriso Stadium, President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud called on presidents of the capital to support military operations against the rebels in the central regions of Iran and Middle Shabet. <laughs> Somalia <laughs> Since returning to power for the second time in June 2022, President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed's meeting with foreign leaders have always featured talks on collaboration in the war on terrorism. This has been in the case of his visits to Turkey, Kenya, Eritrea, Djibouti, Egypt, Uganda and Ethiopia. The president had promised to fight Al-Shabaab in his second stint in power. A tough-talking President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed on August 23rd last year in a televised speech declared that his government would launch a total war against Al-Shabaab after Al-Shabaab group staged a deadly hotel siege in Mogadishu. He however said the Somali National Army operations in parts of the country had gained significant ground. In his New Year article, President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed said the government will continue in successful efforts to rid Somalia of international terrorism permanently. Abdelzak Ali, Dalsan TV, Mogadishu, Somalia. Now, Somali security forces alongside local clan militia forces have successfully destroyed two vehicles packed with explosives in the north of the Somali capital, Mogadishu. According to a statement by the military, 
the Allied forces seized the vehicle borne improvised explosive devices during a security operation against Al Shabaab fighters in the area near Balad town. Somali security forces, alongside local clan militias, have successfully destroyed two vehicles packed with explosives in the north of the Somali capital, Mogadishu. According to a statement by the Somali military, the Allied forces seized the vehicle borne improvised explosive devices during a security operation against Al Shabaab fighters in an area near Balad town. Somali National Army Commander Abshir Sidiqe said two vehicles were to be used for V-bid attacks by Al Shabaab. The seizure of the vehicle comes barely three days after the Somali security forces destroyed two vehicles laden with explosives in the Middle Shabela region. Now elsewhere, Somali police forces have apprehended a government tax collection officer who brutally murdered Abu Bakr Mohamed Nurani, a 65-year-old resident of Mogadishu's Hamarwene district on Tuesday. Eyewitnesses told Dalsan TV Nurani was killed for just 5,000 Somali shillings, which is 25 cents. Police in Mogadishu apprehended a government tax collection officer who brutally murdered Abu Bakr Mohamed Nurani a prominent 65 years old resident of Mogadishu's Hamarwene district. Eyewitnesses told media that Nurani was killed for just 1,000 Somali shillings, which is 0.2 US dollars. <laughs> ولكنها <تصفيق> إنه هو يو سمان علي أبو كر إذا يسنهاس أو دلي قفك مرحوم كمواطن كوح دم بيا محبك قلب سنين وحبك جي سنين حصية شيء سيدا باريس صور نعم كوجا ني إلو دلي عدد العجق هو آت وير أيو كدو نيجي سيدا أيو أسكريجاس قفك مواطن كا أو شعب كا مواطن كسمان وحبك قلب سن كدو لي سيدا وكلا تكمل بلع تساس وكلا تأيو سن كدو لي عيد كبلوش كصوماليات هيدا كله أمان كيا قانتو كصور دقيقة إذا سنة ياشاس لبضة أسفل وحوش نبضة أحكود دليل لبضة مواطن أو صوماليات وحبك قلب سنين لبضة إذا سنة بابا حنو عدينا أنا أمضى صوماليات إني قانتو عيد كبلوش كصوماليات كجران إسلام كان أصير أقول نصيحة بدن أي وجهة يان محكمة ده ود أقول سي عدالة الله مرسيه ما جير تسبب أي عدالة أقول بحسن يان إذا سنة ياشاس فلان كنوع عاس جيستي سيدو كله تو إذا سنة كستا أو فلان نوع عاس جيستا the deceased brother said the soldier deliberately killed Nurani because he could not pay. He demanded that authorities arrest the officer and deliver his family justice. The spokesperson also added that the accused man would be arraigned at the Benad Regional Court in the coming days. Meanwhile, in the Balad district of Middle Shabele, a rickshaw driver named Ali Tahlil was killed by government soldier at the Garasdele checkpoint. Authorities also arrested the rogue soldier in that case. Now, Somalia and Ethiopia have agreed to boost bilateral cooperation on aviation industry following a deal signed by ministries of aviation of the two countries. 
Director General of the Ethiopian Civil Aviation Authority, Getashiu, and the Director of Somali's Civil Aviation Authority, Ahmad Mu'allin, signed an agreement during a ceremony in Addis Ababa. Somalia and Ethiopia have agreed to boost their bilateral cooperation on aviation industry following a deal signed by Minister of Aviation of the two countries. Director General of the Ethiopian Civil Aviation Authority, Getashiu Menge City, and the Director of Somalia Civil Aviation Authority, Ahmad Mu'allim, signed the agreement during a ceremony in Addis Ababa. The Ethiopian Minister of Transport and Logistics, Degmawit Moges, and Somalia's Transport Civil Aviation Minister, Fordosa Osman Igal, have attended the signing ceremony. The agreement illustrates that the two countries to work on the development of aviation sector in partnership. The agreement is believed to further strengthen the economic cooperation of the two countries, in addition to the existing political and social relations. It was learned during the occasion. Dengamuit Moges said the agreement will help expedite the common goals of the two nations. Well, Tigre rebels have handed over their heavy weapons to the Ethiopia's National Army in the presence of a monitoring team comprising members of the two sides and the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, IGAD, a regional body. The handover was held in the town of Aguale, which is located, located 30 kilometers northeast of the Tigre regional capital, Makele. Tigre rebels handed over their heavy weapons to the Ethiopian National Army in the presence of monitoring team comprising members of the two sides and the Intergovernmental Authority on Development IGAD, a regional body. The handover was held in the town of Aguale, located 30 kilometers northeast of the Tigre regional capital, Makele. The war between Ethiopian government forces and Tigre rebels erupted in November 2020 after the Tigre People's Liberation Front, TPLF, attacked the federal army bases stationed in the northern region. Hostilities subsided after the two sides signed agreement in Pretoria and Nairobi in November last year. The Tigre conflict has killed hundreds of thousands and displaced millions more since November 2020. A United Nations report released late last year placed the number of displaced people at 2.75 million with some 12.5 million children said to be in need of urgent humanitarian assistance. We have come to the end of Dalsan TV English News. My name is Abdelazak Ali and thank you so much for watching Dalsan TV.